hello friends first of all i'd like to thanks everyone for uh, watching my videos and uh, giving your valuable feedback comments so thanks everyone thank you gandra karti rajkumar iqbal christopher uh, govind uh, govind yes i'd like to create some videos on ngrx uh, Shrey, uh yeah i don't have any dedicated mic for this uh, i just do record sound recordings on any uh, mobile headphones so yeah my uh, that's maybe the reason for the voice quality but uh, let's see if i can get one dedicated mic for this so let's start today's video so today i would like to uh, show you one uh, one thing that's the live notification using node.js and using the socket so uh, this is basically required whenever we need to have kind of um, notification need to send to the user so if if you see i have one op, op, uh, chrome is open and the firefox is opened already so let me show you what i'm going to achieve to say i'd like to say hi and so if i write and hit send from another browser see the notification comes here right so same way it will be vice versa so currently uh, this is a very simple application which will basically uh, let the all uh, sockets that are connected to the server will be notified so obviously you can make a separate room and you can send the message to the particular room anytime so if i start so let's start with the coding now so so what i need basically uh, So what I need basically to start with this one, we need one node server and uh, just one HTML page. I have that page, I have the jQuery file and a toaster message, that's all. So start with the server JS. Uh, these are pretty common. Just starting the server, first uh, loading the dependencies, creating the server and that's all now our part starts from here we'll create the socket and we'll pass the server here and on the event of connection i'll just do a log that made a socket connection this log will be in the command prompt where the node server will be running not in the chrome dev tool and the second one is like when uh, it will be disconnected we'll show another message that's been disconnected the last one and the important one for the for our video is the this custom event send notification so whenever this send notification will be triggered it will emit that same message to all the sockets binded to or connected to this server at this moment so that's pretty good so the question is how we will trigger this send notification and who will uh, subscribe to this new notification event right so let's go to our index.html page so in index.html page we don't have any 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 such special things here so just styling and the css and here we have the input field and the send button right so here you can see again we are creating the socket object here and here is the thing that on new notification this is the subscriber of that that emit this emission will be received here and will be showing one toaster message and the toaster message will be showing us the response here now uh, when user click on the submit here so suppose you i hit something here and i submit so this function will be triggered i'll just get the value from the input field and I'll call the send notification event from here. So this will call send notification and it will uh, notify all the subscriber or the sockets that some new notification has been received. So this is the simple way, very, very simple uh, process to do it. Now here, if you see, I have this io.emit. That's, that is like, uh, if I show you here, if, let me replace it. Uh, I have to restart the server on every change 
uh, a code of inside any server.js file if we make any change i need to restart the server every time so if i write hi to myself getting this notification so if i write in room all uh, all the connected sockets will be notified but our intention is to send the notification notification to all others connected socket excluding myself right so i'll just write socket.podcast then name it so if i restart the server again just reload the browsers let's see if i try yeah this is working fine so this is a pretty simple application and just to show you how we can make use of the socket to uh, get the real time notification if you see here we don't have any 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 network call going we don't have any network call even we are sending something or receiving something but this is going through the socket see we will have no uh, no uh, network call here what will receive here right so this is the use of socket and this is the simple application you can anytime uh, create a room uh, chat room and you can continue chat on that so thank you thanks for watching and please give me your feedback and your comment thank you